I'm present. And Mr. Tuku. Jackie Maribe's bond application will be heard on Wednesday. The Citizen TV anchor was charged with murder alongside her then fiance Joseph Irungu, following the killing of businesswoman Monica Kimani. So in the meantime, the accused person to be remanded in custody and be produced in court. The reporter has put up a spirited battle to regain her freedom. In her latest affidavit filed in court, Maribe says, and I quote, the only reasons I am standing trial are that I was in a love relationship with the person the prosecution is interested in, and I allowed him to come and live in my house besides using my motor vehicle. Maribe goes on to state, Except for these three facts of association with the person the prosecution is interested in, the prosecution on its face has no witness and or forensic material to associate me with the murder directly or indirectly. Monica Kimani was found murdered in her house in Kilimani and following police investigations, Jackie Maribe and her then fiancé Joseph Irungu were arrested, locked up and charged with the murder. And Jackie says, without doubt, Joey, the first accused, was my fiancé as at then. And in the circumstances, I definitely communicated with him. It's important also. The Citizen TV anchor goes on to accuse the prosecution of trying to fix her in a murder case she has nothing to do with and had no knowledge of. She says, and I quote, it is most unfair to use the communications between me and the first accused in the given circumstances of our then existing relationship as a reason to withhold bail. Police information before court claims that after committing murder, Joseph Irungu burnt his clothes at Maribe's compound and that the TV journalist had knowledge of the incident. Jackie Maribe disagrees. She says, I was not there if there was any burning. And it is not alleged that I was there when anything was burnt. I personally did not endorse and did not authorize any burning of anything. In the court document, Jackie Maribe says the spot where the police say the clothes were burnt is not within her compound. This even as Justice James Wagiaga warned the media against writing stories with links to the murder of Monica Kimani. I am an old school judge who believes in blunt justice, but when I am influenced before I hear a case, I get upset. The Citizen TV senior reporter accuses investigators of using covert means to try and extract information from her during her incarceration at Gigiri police station. She says that the police planted one Kenneth Omondi as a spy in the police cells. She says Omondi, who was cunningly booked at the station over drug trafficking allegations, tried to push her into giving him information. Enoxicolia, Citizen TV, Nairobi.